Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to create my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did with his. For this particular footage, instead of me showing you a story, I'm going to show you data sheets for two characters. Think of them as like resumes. It may not have much diversity in detail, but it's still data nonetheless, and I hope you could forgive me about it in the long run. And if you guys just bear with me, I'm going to read them out loud to you guys and such. This character is known as Abigail Kingston. Real name, none. Height, varied. Weight, weightless. Status villain and master of cosmic bloodshed. Base mobile. Intelligence, five brains and a plus, meaning cosmic intelligence. Behavior, savage, stubborn, and completely genocidal. She will do anything to annihilate everything and everyone in her proximity. At lethality, as above, even most villains refuse to trust her. Weaknesses. She could only be decimated by the savior of the Aniverse. Powers. She possesses vast aniversal powers, transfiguration, mass alteration, and is nearly impossible to kill. She is a master of aniversal warfare and irreversible bloodshed. She also possesses total ruthlessness. Eyes. Normally deep red. Hair normally platinum white in ankle length, going down to her ankles. Origin Since the betrayal of her parents as a baby for being a girl instead of a boy, Abigail Kingston had grown up with a strict intolerance for any form of heroism. One day, she was transported to the layer of Cosmic, where she infused Abigail with nearly unbeatable anniversal power to get her payback on the Alpha Gods. Unfortunately, Abigail betrayed Cosmic and went on a rampage across both sides of the fourth wall, gaining extreme pride in the process. Luckily, the Savior of the Anniverse arrived and battled her until the Tyrant was more dead than alive, saving all of existence from her first intended scheme. Outraged of her failure, Abigail will nowadays do anything to destroy all that has to do with the deity that almost put her six feet under. Costume. She mainly wears a black leather dress that fits her powers and personality. Other than that, she simply wears nothing official, meaning no clothes in particular. Team Solitary, or with any villain who would ever trust her. Original Inspiration? Marvel's Amatsu Mikaboshi. This character I'm going to introduce is one I hope you forget, guys could forgive me because it involves a character I haven't introduced yet. This character is known as Babe. Real name, none. Height, 450 feet. Weight, unrevealed. Status, hero and servant of lumber base, default earth, and mobile. Intelligence, two brains. Behavior, willful, protective, and clever. He'll do anything to honor the descendant of his master. Lethality, only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, being dwarfed. He's also colorblind. Powers, he possesses all the powers of an ox, along with him having great size, utter strength, and high durability to most damage. Eyes vivid blue, hair none. Origin Babe was once the blue ox of the legendary Paul Bunyan, whom he served as his, his partner. By the present day, the spirit of Paul Bunyan gave his descendant, Lumber, the assistance of Babe who is now destined to serve her as well. After some quality time, Lumber and Babe teamed up to defeat the notorious Mammo from wrecking havoc 
across Chicago. Nowadays, Babe would spend his time helping Lumber with a variety of Lumber work. Costume? None. Teams? Solitary? With Lumber? And other heroes? Original inspiration? Himself. I hope those, uh, data sheets would be satisfactory in terms of getting the idea of the characters. They may not be stories, but it's still data nonetheless. And I've also noticed that I haven't had any views in the past seven days, and to be honest, I hope that's not a bad sign in the long run. So if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And um, I hope you guys have a fine Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys have some satisfaction in the long run and such with my uh, footages and such. You know? And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine time and such. Until next time, in transmission.